Good morning, everybody. How you doing? <sighs> Happy thoughts. It's a beautiful day. It's going to be a beautiful weekend. Hope I, hope, I hope everybody's having a wonderful holiday Christmas. Christmas holiday. <laughs> Whatever. I don't know. Anyways. Um, I love being free to do what I want. That's the, it's, it's weird. Like I said, when I first started having to do this, it was like one of those things where I, because I was so used to having to get up to alarm every morning. Or, you know what I mean? You had to be a, at a certain place, a certain time, obligations. And I just, I was so used to that. So when I, I had to free myself, that was part of unplugging like the matrix. You had to free yourself to where I had realized it was on my time. And I, it was whatever I wanted to do, when, whenever I wanted to do. And I realized the place I'm at now is the place that Ranger was telling me I had to kick rocks at, right? Well, it's been over a month. So I can actually be at the same spot for 14 days if I want to. I'm like, where am I going? What's my hurry, right? I painted two paintings yesterday, which was kind of cool. Well, the background's for them anyways. Hang on, let me try it. See if I can't show you real quick. This was one of them. I think it turned out pretty good. Looks almost like a water. Anyway. And this one, I'm not sure how that's going to turn out. But that... So anyways, I'm grooving. I got my thing going. I'm not sure if I want to... I still need to get more groceries and stuff like that. I'm worried about that, but I'm in a good spot. It's free. And anyways, the thing I wanted to talk about with society right now and how weird it's getting, and the people, I don't even get into it right now because right now it just seems really bizarre, right? And this, I'm not going to get into it because I have past videos that talk all about how I feel about authority. I'm all about Robin Hood, babe. I'm all about Zorro. I'm all about the people. And anyways, one of the things I used to do when I was analyzing videos is the idea was to debunk them, to find out videos and just, you know, whatever. And there's these videos where these guys were said they were part of like government time travel and stuff like that. And they would, you know, they blur their faces and stuff like that. And they would show pictures of the future and they talk about different times when they would go into the future. And one guy was taught, which is kind of what brings me up to now and how society's kind of. Like this globalist thing is happening where they're trying to control like a, the whole world. One new world order, right? Anyways, so in this this guy shows up in the society where apparently they give up all authority to the machines, to AI. And what they said was but if you get in trouble, I don't know what they would consider trouble, this machine, but you go in front of a machine and if it thought that you had done just too much they would terminate you on the spot as a human. This machine would decide to terminate you and you'd be, they'd kill you right there. That was their future. And the interesting thing was there was, they said there was two societies. There was a society that worked inside the system that had the computers running and everything. And then there were the outsiders, the people that would live out, you know, in the outskirts. And I'm like, I'm doing. I thought that was really fascinating. The people that didn't want to, you know what? And this is why I'm going to bring up Firefly, that show, which is awesome, by the way. And they, they did a movie afterwards when they canceled the show, show, which was a ridiculous idea. Stupid morons. Anyway, Josh Whedon, you're a genius. So anyway, in the show, they're independents. There's people that would, they went off into the planets and, you know, colonized and terraformed the planets. And they didn't want authoritarian rules, so they wanted to be independent, do what they want. A lot of them were like farmers and stuff. This is why I love they, they did the cowboy theme for space. It was so perfect. It was, yeah, the fiddles. It was just awesome. Firefly, it's awesome. Anyway, and I feel like an independent right now. And, you know, the Alliance is basically the globalist. And they're trying to control everything. It's horrible. And I don't, I don't want our future to be, you know, up to a machine to decide humanity, to have that kind of, because they have no empathy. Machines don't have empathy, which is, and I'm an empath, so that's a, that's like a nightmare scenario. That's like Orwellian on steroids, right? You know, no, no, no. We don't want that. We want freedom. We want people, communities. And it's weird. It's almost like the communities, the, the way things are setting up, the, the community, how it used to be is the communities that had the most resources and had the best security were the most, um, sought after, the most um, desired by people to want to live in, to want to start their business at. And when you de defund cops and you 
make a society less stable, that's an unattractive society to want to live in, right? So maybe they're going to be like colonies now living where certain towns are just going to have like their own police force, their own army. They're going to make, you know, you live here, you're going to be secure. You know, who knows? I mean, who knows how society works and how, well, it's like an empire. The way I look at it is either empires fall because they don't learn lessons and they repeat the lessons and they become corrupt, which is basically what we've been doing forever apparently and this is like the latest empire where we just it's just like a cycle it's like dude do we really have to go through the corruption of the politics and all that blah 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 and the, the absolute control and then every society before has collapsed when they did that crap the mayan societies the the roman societies whenever they started total control and treating the people like shit society would collapse because nobody wanted to be a part of it who wants to sign up for that shit right we want freedom <sighs> mm. Anyway, that's my rant for the day. Anyway, I love you. I had to get sci-fi in there. I'm such a geek. Anyway, God loves you, and the universe is really digging you, and it, and it digs sci-fi too. The universe loves sci-fi. So anyways, have a wonderful day, and I love you, and have a great weekend, and I'm going to do some more painting and rock it. Anyway, I love you. Okay, bye. And there's the desert. Oh, I was going to say about the desert. It's, it's always one thing to wax poetic about it when it's like 70 degrees right now, but in the middle of summer, this place is just, yeah, yeah, it's horrible. No, I'm just saying, you can't, you know, it's just too hot. Anyway, love you.